Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live. It's 7 p.m. Eastern time on the East Coast. And I just wanna say hello and thank you for joining me. I have um, a few people already on here. Hey, Lorraine, hey, Antoinette, hey, Terry, hey, Lynn. How's everybody doing tonight? It's a hot one here today in Chesapeake, Virginia. And um, I have some funny stories and uh, other stories to tell you tonight. So let's let everybody get on. This is the card that we're making. And it's using the um, paper ribbon technique, which is really popular right now. I don't know who came up with it. Um, I saw it about a week ago. And then now I've seen it like on several different websites and blogs and stuff. So um, I thought I would try it. I haven't seen anybody using this paper with it yet. So I thought I'd be a little different and uh, see what I could come up with. And um, hopefully you will like it. It's really easy to do. Um, let's see. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Carla. Where is everybody? We have to wait until a few people get on here, like Debbie Spicer. Where is um, Miss Cheater, Debbie Spicer? <laughs> I was enjoying reading the comments. Uh, several people have uh, messaged me to say that she's cheating with a lot of people now. <laughs> so I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> you guys know I don't care. <laughs> You can watch whoever you want, as long as I'm your favorite. <laughs> I have about 10 people that I watch too. So hello, hello, everybody. Hey, Joy. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Hilda. Hey, Diana. Let's see. Christina Reese did the wraparound. Is that the first person who did it? I think the first time I saw it was uh, somebody from the UK, but I don't know who it was. But she did it in um, centimeters. And... I was trying to change the centimeters to um, inches, and then I saw somebody in the U.S. changed it to inches. But actually, there's a couple different ways to do it, so I'll tell you about that, too. Um, hey, Stephanie. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Jude. Judy. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Brenda. Elaine. How's everybody doing? I am doing great. I got a good nap in today. I was in a food coma. Um, yeah, I saw Lisa Curcio do it, but I know she wasn't the first one. I'm thinking it was the girl from the UK. She's the first one that I saw a few weeks ago. Um, hey, Cindy. All right, so let me show you what stamp set I'm using. This is Happiness Abounds, and this is my favorite, I think, stamp set in the new catalog. And uh, the paper is actually what makes the stamp set too, because the paper is absolutely gorgeous. And I have about 18 packs. I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't have 18 packs. I probably have six packs, though. And I use so many pieces of it. This is probably three or four packs altogether. But it has the most beautiful flowers on it. And they go with the dies. So there's dies that go with it that cut all these flowers out for you. And you have this gorgeous paper. And it's just all different colors. I kind of wish, the only thing I wish that it had was... The pieces that are like this, how they change colors. There's like, let me see, here we go. I don't know, that's not it. Um, I can't find the bottom of that piece because I used all the bottoms. But you know how there's like this piece and then it changes colors as it goes down? I wish you could just get whole pieces with just the pink, blue, and purple and then a whole piece with just like the yellow and pink and um, the reddish colors because then it'd be so much easier for classes because I have to really use several packs to get enough for classes to do, uh, for everybody to get the exact same pieces. So that's my only complaint about this paper because it is absolutely beautiful. And this this um, one is my favorite, this piece. This is, I think, oh, this is the whole piece. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So I wish you could get a whole piece of just this side and then a whole piece of just this side so that it would be easier to cut it for a class. So that's what I did for this card. I just took scraps that I had of both pieces. I kind of went through and decided which ones I liked the best. So I took this piece right here. It started out like 
the blue and the um, freesia and the purple and it goes into the other colors. Whoops. So I just cut off like three inches. This is the back of it. So I just cut like a three inch piece and then cut it into half inch slices. So you need half inch strips. It doesn't really matter how long they are as long as they're more than two and a half inches. So they have to be at least two and a half inches by one half. And then my other one is that piece I just showed you. So I cut all those and your pieces just have to be at least two and a half inches by one half inch. But you can also do it a different way. You can use three quarter inch strips too. I guess you could probably use any, any width you want to. But the secret is if you're using half inch strips, you put your mark every half an inch. If you use three quarter inch strips, you put your mark every three quarters of an inch. So that's what you, I'm going to do another one with like three quarter inch strips also. So you can see. I'm going to use a different stamp set and paper. And you need to have some grid paper. It makes it a whole lot easier if you have grid paper to do this technique. So we're going to use that. And we can get a whole pack of this. It's for the Stamparatus. So you get a whole pack for, I don't know, pretty cheap. Like, I don't know exactly how much it is. I want to say it's like six bucks maybe. It's pretty cheap. Um, so that's that. Don't forget, it is... Oh, let me show you where it is in the catalog. So this is in, let me see. Oh, that's the mini catalog. What am I doing? Here we go. It's on the front. So that's the first thing you see. And then it's also somewhere in here. I should have marked it since it's my favorite. <laughs> I should know exactly what page it's on. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't find it. Hold on. Oh, there's some more. It's all over the catalog. So you really can't look at the catalog without seeing that stamp set. But I think it's in the front. Anybody know what page it's on? Help me out here. I could have sworn it was in the front. Maybe not. All right, who knows what page it's on? Hey, everybody who just joined. All right, nobody's telling me. So just here it is. Okay, it's on page 108 and 109. So it's Hues of Happiness is a Suite, and you can get everything on this page. So the stamp set, the dies, and the paper, and the glossy dots assortment. So that's what comes in the suite, or you can just get the bundle if you want to. But you have to have the bundle because this, the dies cut out all the stamps in it and all the paper. So you have to get both. Plus you save 10%. All right, and don't forget it's celebration. So for every $50 you order, you get a free item out of here, except there's a couple that are with a $100 order, like my favorite Wonderful World stamp set and paper. That's the $100 one. There's another one too. So don't forget that's going on now. And we've got our mini catalog. The holiday mini is out. And don't forget the card kit for the rest of the month is this one. So if you order over $50, you get all the supplies to make these uh, three of these cards, okay? So don't forget that. And I have several people who order three or four times in $50 increments so that they can get like three or four kits. <laughs> but that's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll send you a bunch. All right, so um, all of the kits from the 1st through the 15th went out yesterday. So you guys should be getting those this week. Um, and thank you to everybody that ordered. Um, hey, Beth. I'm glad you're showing us. I know Beth was over here today. She was one of my girls who came to my classes today. Um, I had all the girls over this morning. And then we had a potluck lunch. And um, I have went into a food coma. So I had to take a nap, which felt so good. And I was just going to take like a one-hour nap. And it turned into like a three-hour nap. And... Um, I set my alarm, but the alarm went off, and I was like, uh, I'm not done yet, so I had to just turn it off and just go back to sleep. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, though. It's so, it, it, I don't know if it's because it's so hot out or what's going on, but I'm just so tired all the time. Um, oh, it's 6.50, so the grid paper is 6.50 on page 147. Thank you, Sherry. Hey, kitty cat, how are you? All right, so... I see nobody has asked the question that I thought would be the first question on here today. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. I got asked a lot over the weekend. 
So uh, I'm talking about my date, which didn't happen, unfortunately. So I'll tell you about that while I'm making the card. Yes, Lynn, my date. So uh, I'll tell you about that while we're doing some stuff. All right, so let me show you first what you need. Besides this grid paper, you need a piece of five and a half by eight and a half fresh freesia, a piece of five and a quarter by four white, a piece of two and a quarter by five and a half pool party, a piece of two by five and a half white, and then just a scrap of white for the words. This is one half inch. And then you need your little strips. So just a pile of these and a pile of these. They have to be at least two and a half inches long and one half inch wide. And um, let me see if I can fit all that on here. Can you guys see all that? Oh, uh, yes, no date. It'll be all right though. I'll tell you what happened. Um, all right, so everybody get a screenshot of this and then we'll get started. Let me see if I can fix that crookedness. All right, everybody get a screenshot. Oh, Debbie Spicer, what? Just showed up. <laughs> I just saw you. Oh, wait a minute, I, I can see you up at the top. Okay, <laughs> you were sleeping too. <laughs> All right, Debbie Spicer's here, so now we can um, have a party. <laughs> oh, you guys are so fun. Um, well, I'll tell you what happened with the date. It, it's not, not bad. We're still going to have a date. Well, it's kind of bad, but um, not, not his fault. So, all right. So this is all the products you need. Oh, also I forgot about the flowers. So I did pre-cut these out ahead of time out of the paper. So these are not stamped. They're just cut from the paper in the pack. So you need those. I don't know if I'm going to use the, which one of those I'm going to use. Because on here I use this one. But I might use the other one. I don't know. So I already have those pre-done. All right. So we don't need that. This paper was for the inside. So we'll use that in a minute. So what we need first is just this one. And we're going to use our grid paper to mark it. All right. So let's see if I can talk and chew gum at the same time. All right. So I was supposed to have my date Saturday. And he was getting off of work early. So you have to mark, so this is the grid paper and these are one inch squares. So each square is a quarter of an inch. So if you do two squares, that's half of an inch. So what we're gonna do is mark at a half of an inch all the way down. So every two squares. So it makes it a lot easier if you have the grid paper or you can use a ruler if you don't. And this is a pencil so I can erase it if I have to. All right, then turn it around, do the exact same thing down the other side. So every two squares, make a little tick mark like that. And if you're just slightly off, it's no big deal. I mean, don't be like a big blot off, but okay. So now we've got those little marks on there. So hopefully you can see that. So what happened was he got off early. He, he asked off early for work because he was supposed to work Saturday. And his daughter, um, her car was in the shop, so she took him to work and he let her borrow his car, which was a big mistake. That's the whole reason this happened. But anyway, she got in an accident, car accident, totaled his car. And she is in the hospital, not doing very well. Um, so she had a friend in the car with her who was killed. And so he was in the hospital Saturday night and Sunday and she's she, the daughter's still in the hospital she's gonna have to have a lot of surgery and stuff but she's doing a little bit better so right now he doesn't have a car because his car was totaled so um that's what happened and he is supposed to be watching I'm not sure if he is or not he said he was gonna be watching his name is Howard and um he's very very sweet and I felt really bad for him um because, you know, he was really looking forward to our date, and so was I. And uh, so that's what happened. But we're still going to plan on meeting this week. And uh, he's been writing me some poems. So I'm going to read a poem to you in just a little bit. So you're just going to put tape. You can put the glue on. I thought it was just easier to use the tape. And, oh, I forgot. You want to use your silicone pad. Because if you get tape over the edge on here, it's easier 
um, not to stick to your paper. All right, so you wanna start at the top corner and go to that first tick mark. And this one I cut longer so I could have some that had the blue showing and then some that had the purple showing. So I'm gonna start like this, right in that corner and go to that tick mark. So there's my first piece. And then I'm gonna do the same thing all the way down with this paper. And, oops. So some of them I wanna do more of the blue and some more of the purple. So you go to your next tick mark, which is right there, to the next one. So you're just lining up these tick marks. So we're gonna to go to, see that one's a little bit crooked, but that's all right. So we're gonna to go to this tick mark, to this tick mark. So this one I'm gonna do this way, like that. And it looks bad now, but it'll look better. So do another one from that tick mark to that one. And then just keep on going. So you do all of one color first, and I think the one that you want to be the back one is the one you do first. So you're gonna see more of this one. So that's the one that goes on the top. So that tick mark to that one. And then one more down at the bottom. So it doesn't take many. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Let's turn this one this way. So that tick mark is gonna go to the bottom corner. So you're gonna have that one to that corner. All right, so then what you do is pick it up and you're gonna cut off all those pieces from the edge. So don't use your good scissors. So I'm just gonna cut these off right down the edge. And I'm gonna save that bottom part for last. So that's why I don't like the glue because the glue will still be wet and tacky and I don't want it to gum up my scissors. But you can if you want to. Okay, and then this piece right here we're just gonna go right across the bottom. Well, let me do it straight first, here and then this way. Okay, so there we go. So that's the first part. Then you just throw away all these little scraps. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing, go in the opposite direction. But I actually think it's easier if you just turn it around. And then, um, well, we're not turning it around. <laughs> that would still be the same way. <laughs> I was going to say it'd be easier just to go back like that, but that's not going to work because you got to go from that corner to that corner. All right, so now we're going to do the other way. So we've got all these pieces here. I'm going to try and use my short ones. We're going to do the same thing. Let me read some comments real quick. Let's see. Caught you live. Hey, Cheryl. No day. Uh, it's okay. I know I was really disappointed, but you know, you can't help what happens. Um, yeah, it was sad. I'm very sad, you know, sad for his daughter, but you guys keep her in your prayers. Um, it'll be fine. He's a really, really nice guy. So I think it'll be great once we do meet. Um, yeah, I hope his daughter gets better too. Definitely pray for his daughter and the whole family and, and the passenger's family, definitely. Um, <laughs> Sue says, okay, Howard, we are not disappointed. Very sorry to hear about your daughter. Oh my. Um, oh yeah. I'm going to read you the poem in just a little bit. Um, Howard, if you were on here, say hello. I said, he said he had a Google, uh, a Gmail account. So hopefully he can log in on there and watch. All right. So now we're going to, um, line up from the opposite corner to the top of this piece. So you're gonna start at that top corner and line up to the top of that piece right there. So right there to that corner. And just keep on doing that all the way down. So you're gonna go from this piece to that piece. And hopefully that'll cover all my tick marks too. And this paper, I don't know if it really matters if it goes upside down or not. Because the flowers, you can't really tell which way they're going too much. All right, so you're just going diagonal, oops, like that. And it does really help to have that silicone mat. If you don't have one, you need to get one. I'm gonna make sure I cover up all my little tick marks so I don't have to erase them. So 
go here to here. Oops. And one more. So it's really fast. If you have all these pieces cut ahead of time, it really goes by fast. And you can whip out a bunch of these in no time. So you want this from the bottom corner to the top of that piece right there. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit more trimming. So you just go right up the edge again. And so I woke up from my nap about 3.30. And then I laid there like looking at Pinterest and YouTube and stuff, trying to figure out what to, I was gonna do. And I had saved this video from somebody of this technique. And um, I was like, oh, that's what I could do. So that's what we're doing. Oh, I got a funny story to tell you too. Well, so you know my friend at work who did the Kool-Aid hair. So I went to work yesterday and I walk in and her hair looks gorgeous. And I said, Jordan, did you get your hair done? I said, because it looks really good. She goes, no. She said, I washed it like twice and the Kool-Aid kind of like toned down. So now she has this really beautiful like um, kind of auburn, kind of a little bit purplish cut toned with, you know, to it. But it's beautiful. And I'm like, all the orangey part has gone and the reddish part. So it's, now it's more of a like a purpley, I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe what color it is, but it's, she's got dark brown hair, so the purple tone looks really, really pretty on it. And um, I was like, gosh, it looks great. And she goes, I know, right? And it only costs a dollar. <laughs> so I don't know. I thought it was supposed to wash out right away, which she thought too, but it didn't. It stayed, so. All right, so that's what it looks like when you finish. So isn't that beautiful? I love it. All right, so then we're going to take this piece right here, and we're going to glue that down. Let's use the green glue. All right, so my uh, funny story, there was this little girl, we ha we were slammed yesterday um, doing school physicals and sports physicals. I think this one's empty. So this one feels empty too. And um, so this little girl, she's about five years old. Oh my gosh, they're all empty. Let's see if this one, this one's full. Um, I had to go to the bathroom. We were super busy and the bathroom's like all the way in the back so um i'm walking to the back and they do like for school physicals they do the the hearing and the vision test in the very back kind of right near the bathroom the employee bathroom and so the vision test is like right next to the bathroom door so the kids are always standing there you know doing the vision test when you walk out of the bathroom and that's just a teeny bit over the edge um and then you kind of turn the corner and there's a room where they do the hearing test. So right as I turn the corner, this little girl is going into the hearing test room. And the girl, the MA says, um, all right, we're going to go do your, um, I think she said audio test. And she gets this cart out, which has the little machine on it. And it has like, kind of like a microphone or something on it looking. And the little girl looks at it and she goes, but I don't know any songs. <laughs> and she said it's so pitiful. I guess she thought she was going to have to sing. <laughs> so <laughs> I busted out laughing. <laughs> and the MA, she's hysterical. She was like, honey, you don't have to sing. She said, this is not singing. You just have to listen and you have to press the button when you hear the, um, the noise. And I was laughing so hard. It was just so cute. And she was so sweet and innocent. And um, it was just really cute. All right, so we're gonna do a stamp on the inside and on the front. So we're gonna take this one, and this is Fresh Freesia. Let me get my scrap paper back out. So we're gonna stamp right here at the bottom. And then also down the side here on the front. So I'm just gonna do a couple here, like that. Maybe a little bit right there. Um, that's all you need with the Fresh Freesia. So this one goes on the inside. And if you want to put some words in there, you can. I didn't, but you can. I thought I had another funny story to tell you, but I can't think of what it was. Oh, I watched um, a movie this, well, two movies this weekend. Have you guys ever seen Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home 2? Somebody um, told me that Daddy's Home 2 was really funny, so I had to watch Daddy's Home 1 to see what number 2 was about. 
So, um, oh my gosh, number one was funny, but number two was even funnier. And it was hysterical. You guys, it had a little bit of bad language, but uh, it wasn't too bad. The little girl in it was just a brat, <laughs> but, but it was funny. All right, so this is Gorgeous Grape. So we're gonna stamp the words on our little white piece here. And the happy birthday comes from that same set. So that's all you need to do with that one. And then we're just gonna put that together. So this gets glued right onto the front here. And looks like it's a little bit over the edge still. Let me just trim it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put this down on here with the green glue. Let me read some comments. Back in the day, my daughter had me do her ponytail with Kool-Aid and didn't seem like it lasted very many washings. Oh, fun technique, either easier than it looked at first. No wonder Kool-Aid stains your clothes. I know, because it doesn't uh, come out for a few washings. <laughs> yeah, she thought it was a karaoke machine. That's what exactly what she thought it was, a karaoke machine. Um, oh, Carol, you just made one of my cards today, yay. Oh yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share, like, comment, all that stuff. And I didn't answer, I, a lot of you guys commented on the weekend, how was my date, and that's why I didn't answer, because I just didn't want to have to explain that, you know, a million times. So, that's why I said I'll just wait and tell everybody what happened on the video. Alright, so hold that down for a minute. Then we're going to put our flowers on with dimensionals. So, I'm going to use, I think, the same one. I like that one and one more. All right, let me get my dimensionals here and flip these over. So, um, I want to read you the poem. He writes me poems that are just so beautiful. They make me want to cry. They're just so sweet. Oops, no, I did not put dimensionals on those two. And I didn't put it on the words either. So that's all we need for those. All right, so put this one down and we're gonna put it like right around here, kind of in the middle. And then this one's gonna go like right at the bottom of that one. Like right in there. And then we're just gonna tuck these leaves, I think. Yeah, let me do this one over here. So just put a little bit of tape on that one and tuck it in there. And then we'll put a little bit of tape on this one. I should have done a ribbon. I don't know why I didn't do ribbon on this one. We'll do those right there. All right, so for the birthday, what I did was I just kind of tucked it under here and then cut it off the edge. So I think in this one, I had the leaves coming down a little bit lower. Let me see if I can just switch them a little bit. There we go. All right, so then I just put tape on the back of that and kind of tucked it under so it didn't cover the words, but kind of like that. And then it just hangs off the edge, so I'm gonna trim that real quick. Oh, this is coming off a little bit. Hold up. Let me get some more glue on here. Stick it back down. All right, that's the only bad thing. When you have a little teeny strip at the end, it might come off a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this off. And then we're gonna do some pearls and some shimmer. Oh, I had a lot of people ask me about shimmer spray. So if you guys are new and haven't seen me make the shimmer spray, this is, the bottle of shimmer spray. So you use alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol. You fill it up about more than three fourths of the way with the alcohol. And then you take your shimmer paint. And a lot of people said, where do you get the shimmer paint? Stampin' Up! used to sell it and then they discontinued it last year. But I have a bunch left, so that's why I keep using it. Um, but you can get it if you look on, it's not on Amazon anymore, this one. Just search Google for this right here. It's Sukuniko, where is it? Where's the name of it? Here it is. Sukuniko, can you see it up here? 
Hold on. There we go. Okay, so it's T S U K I N E K O. And then it's Champagne Mist is the color. And it's just all purpose ink. So if you search that, you'll find it. It's like five bucks on a couple different websites. And then you just pour it, shake it up, and you pour it in here just a little bit, maybe like uh, half a teaspoon, not very much, and then you shake it up. So this little jar should last you like a year at least. And I, I use mine all the time, like every day. And I, I'm still on the same bottle. So probably two or three years of one bottle will last you. So, excuse me, we're gonna put some pearls on here. And let me get my take your pick tool. Uh-oh, it's missing. <gasps> what did I do with my take your pick tool? Okay, it's missing, so we're gonna have to use scissors. All right, so I used a big um, pearl for the big flower. And I was telling my girls today, have you guys ever watched me at 0.75 speed? It's absolutely hysterical. So if you, oops, I don't want that one. I want this one. If you ever are watching my videos and you want a really, really, really good laugh, press the settings button at the bottom of the video and watch the video at 0.75 speed. And so I go kind of slow or even 0.5 is even funnier. So I go really slow and I sound like I'm drunk. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and you can put more pearls on here if you want to, but I'm thinking that's probably good. All right, then we're gonna spray. Let me get my scrap paper and give it a good squirt. Only thing about the spray is it makes my paper curl underneath here. So there you go. So isn't that beautiful? I love it, love it, love it. So we got both cards. I should zoom in a little bit for you so you can see it better. All right, you ready for the um, poem? I'm gonna read you. All right, so this is from Howard. It's called Somewhere Over the Rainbows. It says, sitting outside with the moon upon my face, having beautiful thoughts of you in a loving way. Your eyes are like the stars putting on a show for me and your lips are like the moon all over me. Somewhere over the rainbow, I have loved you passionately before. Could it be in another lifetime? And it's you my heart hungers for. True love is forever, just like the sun will forever rise. What, am, what I am feeling right now is very much alive. Somewhere over the rainbows, I, I was lost within the night, blind to this beautiful world of love until you came into my life. Now nothing can compare to the joy that you bring. What we share is special, like hearing the mockingbirds sing. Somewhere over the rainbows, we have slow danced to a love song. I was whispering softly in your ear as I held you tight in my arms. Dreams of dreamers as we kiss under the heavenly stars. Lisa, I think love has found its destination now. Forever has become ours. Somewhere over the rainbows, I have tasted every part of you. I have swam in your river of love and kissed your very being. I pray my words touch your heart and soul. You can find me sitting in the garden of love somewhere over the rainbow. Isn't that the sweetest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> I just was like, oh my God. <laughs> so he's written me a couple of um, poems like that. And they're just so sweet. I'm like, oh my God, I've never dated anybody who was romantic. So it's kind of nice. So I really am looking forward to meeting him. So as soon as we meet, I will let you go know how it goes. Um, do I have, oh, I think that's supposed to be a bead. Yes, I do have a bead in here. They're actually one comes in this jar. And so when the first one I used was empty, I poured it into the bottle, but you don't really have to have one of those. Oh, I just realized I'm still zoomed in. Hold on, let me zoom back out. Um, yeah, so there's a bead in there. Um, I know, isn't that <laughs> a gorgeous poem? I love it. Um, I don't think he cooks. <laughs> We talked about that the other day. I'm, I cook, so he, he'll write me poems and, and I'll cook. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lynn, you're funny. <laughs> Aw. Carol, your husband used to write you poems. You need to tell him that he needs to start doing it again. Because I said, that's like the sweetest thing ever. I just love that. I've never had anybody do that before. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope you guys... Um, 
had a great time watching and that I kept you entertained. If you like the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Whoops, this one's coming off a little bit too. Um, let me glue this down real quick. And don't forget, you can always order on my website, stampingwithlisa.com, right here. And use the host code, please. This glue's not wanting to come out. Here we go. Um, use the host code and don't forget your celebration item for free if your order's over $50. Um, and also, I'll send you a free gift, that card kit in the mail. So I would love to have you as a customer. And don't forget, there's also the joining special. So if any of you guys want a great deal on a kit, you can get the starter kit for 99 bucks. Plus get that awesome, um, this thing, the organizer and a free stamp set and a bunch of other stuff. So it's a great deal. This organizer is gorgeous and it's just awesome. I can't wait to start using mine. I kind of wish it started in, um, January. If they had had the special in January, I think it would have been better, but because I'm going to wait till January to start mine. But thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you back on Thursday night for another episode of Stamping with Lisa. Um, and you guys take care. Bye-bye.